Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you an amazing attacking game played by Slovenian international master Istok Jelen. A few days ago I have already covered a game played by Jelen that was a game played against legendary Bent Larsen where Jelen missed victory several times and then even managed to lose. But anyways the game was a very dramatic one and in case you missed it the link I will pin in the comment section, check it out please you will enjoy it greatly. Since Jelen is playing with the black pieces we will follow the game from the winner's perspective and uh, Jelen's opponent is Slovenian chess grandmaster Janez Barle who won Slovenian championship five times and participated in three chess olympiads. This game is from 1979 Widmar Memorial. Barle opened up with e4 to which Jelen answered with e6. The good old French defense is on the board with the winnaver variation and with knight g2 white is entering the lines of Alekhin Marozzi Gambit. Maybe this is a little bit old fashioned uh, approach but it's a good way of avoiding the theoretical battle. All in all you won't see frequently this line nowadays. C3 knight f6 on exchange of knights on f6 followed, knight g3 e5 opening up the light squared bishop's diagonal which as you know is a huge problem for black in French defense. Queen f3 knight g6, knight e4, bishop e7 avoiding an exchange on f6 and at the same time freeing the f pawns path. White castled king side which is a little bit dubious continuation. Stockfish suggests the following continuation g3, h4, h5 and in future castling queen side. Instead we have castling king side, king h8 since black wants to go for f5 is avoiding a discovered check which can lead to a huge material loss, bishop h2 and f5. And now we have a position which is very easy to play with the black pieces and with Angie's accuracy, uh, Istok Yellen is just going to crush his opponent. Bishop f4. Ah, sorry, in here, white played g3, takes, takes. Bishop d7, developing the last piece, f4. He takes f3, queen takes f3, f4. White is in trouble, and yeah. It's very hard to play with the white pieces. Let's see how long white can survive. Then comes the queen, rook e4, knight h4. Kicking away the queen and then taking on g3. Queen takes g3, knight f3 check, white king is now ex exposed and it's becoming an easy target. Queen takes d5, rook e2. And so we reached the critical position. After rook e2, we have a forced mate in 5. Please pause the video and try to find the winning combination for black. Ready? Here we go. Knight e1 check. King g1 and now what? Yes, yes, there is a back rank weakness. As well as the long diagonal is weak. And relying on that fact... Black is going for this staggering queen sacrifice. King takes h1, check, queen g1. Ah, sorry, rook f1 check, after which white resigned. In view of this line, if queen g1, then bishop c6 check, followed by a very picturesque checkmate. Look at this, guys. Three black minor pieces are just beheading the royal family. We have a very rare looking and picturesque checkmate on the board, right? This is amazing. Yeah, can't remember when I saw a checkmate like this last time. That's why after rook f1 check we have a resignation. A very very impressive attack and a final combination by Istok Yellen. Queen h1 is really good, vacating the f1 square for the rook. Yeah. In the end, the chess puzzle for you, the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.